$79. That's how much the Darwin FPV Baby Ape comes in at. It's a three inch quad and you know, less than a hundred bucks is gotta absolutely make a splash. I'm Darren from Everything Micro FPV and in this video, we're gonna find out. Inside the box, you get the wiring diagram, a bunch of different rubber bands, cable ties, and some different battery straps, as well as a whole bunch of spare nuts and bolts. We're gonna go through the basic specifications and there isn't a lot to it. You have 1104 4300 KV motors, which are completely unbranded. They spin a three inch prop and connect through this little LED race wire into Darwin FPV's all-in-one flight controller and ESC. You get 15 amps of continuous current through each of the motor outputs on the ESC. The flight controller has two UARTs and I've connected the Happy Model EP2RX to UART1. When you buy it, it doesn't actually come with an receiver. Out of the box, it's running analog with Darwin FPV's own analog video transmitter and I've gone with the Pro version which comes with the Cadex Ant. The antenna on the VTX is a dipole and this is one of the things that you should probably upgrade when you get a chance. The only difference between the Pro and the standard is the Pro version has the Cadex Ant camera whilst the standard comes with some proprietary no brand cheap camera. It is designed to run on 3S and I flew it on a 550 China Hobby Lines 3S battery as well as a Beta FPV 300 milliamp hour one. Overall, the frame is pretty well put together. You've got the four separate arms which connect to a single bottom plate through a sandwich plate. And then you've got the top plate on the top with a pretty decent battery strap. All the standoffs in here are nylon, so don't expect aluminium to be anywhere near this, and each of the bolts all appear to be pretty cheap. But the one thing that stands out for me, whilst they're using very low quality components, is actually the workmanship that's gone into the quad. When you look at the way everything has been soldered together, the soldering work is relatively good, but what stands out is how the motors are connected to the ESC through the Darwin FPV LED race wire just those little attention to detail things where they've got heat shrink over the different solder points really goes and shows that you know they've put this together really well so let's go check out how it flies The way Darwin FPV have achieved this price point is in three specific areas. First, they don't include a receiver. Now a TBS or an FR Sky receiver are branded and do cost quite a bit. They could have gone with an Express LRS receiver 
and that would have been a cheaper option, just bumping that up a little bit in price. The second is using no brand motors. Uh, so these are potentially OEM and you can't actually tell who made them. I did find it interesting that they went for replaceable arms as opposed to a single bottom plate, but potentially it's, it allows them to have a lower price point because there's less wastage on the carbon fiber. The Darwin FPV Baby Ape is a great quad for under a hundred bucks, even after adding a receiver. If you want to avoid the soldering and you've got an extra 50 bucks to spend, I'd highly recommend the Crux 35. That is the best overall three and a half inch quad on the market. Check out my video here and until next time, don't forget to send it.